Hi there, it's Laura from She Shepherds. So today I'm going to be doing the last gather before lambing. So the hill ewes will be taken into the hill box to lamb and then we'll go back out in the hill. So it's still lambing pretty hard <laughs> in the shed, but I'm really happy that I've got Tabin to look after everything. So I feel really safe to be away for a day. And um, so I'll be using my dog's pillows or Kira and Meg this time. It's quite late in the morning, it's nine o'clock. It's really good to gather the sheep really early in the morning because they run much better. But I had to go and help out in the shed before I left. So it'll be what it'll be. They are really heavy lamb because they're going to start lambing in a few days. So it's going to be a very slow gather. The last time you saw this gather was with Sabine. So this time there was absolutely nobody to save my ass when I make a mistake. So I'll be doing it slightly differently because Sabine did that bit the last time and this time I'll be doing it. So I've got a quad bag here and I'll be going all the way up there and right up and push everything down the valley and uh, drive right down the hill this way so it'll be a bit longer it'll be a little bit longer than usual but it'll be fun it's quite cool to do it a bit different as well sometimes So I have drove all the way up following the white arrows. On my way up I tried to push everything that was high down this valley. Once the sheep are down, they'll have to keep going following the big black arrow to go below the new forestry park. As I go down with the quad, I will push the sheep on this side down as well. Pilot is going away to clear the sheep near the top bird now. surrendered and went down nicely. It's Kira's turn to run her keep. She'll be doing quite a good job of it. I will let you watch.
So today the whistles I'm using are the Ventura brass and the Ventura aluminium. So I use them both just to be able to compare and uh, I would say that they're both quite good for the hill. Um, they can carry far away and uh, they are both quite sharp. So I like them both to be honest, but if I had to compare them, I would say that the brass is really easy to blow. So you don't need much effort at all and, and you can get really, really nice tones. And uh, in the other hand, the aluminium one carries just as far, I would say, but hasn't got this little taste, but you maybe need to put a little bit more energy when you blow in it. I would say the one I prefer is the brass, as my real favorite for the hill. So here we have a problem. Sheep feel safer sticking together. This you at the back isn't following the group. She isn't fighting me or the dog. She's just not fit enough to keep up. She's having lambs so I'll not wait for her to catch up because she won't and I will try to hurry up and get the ones at the front down as quick as possible before they get away from us. Half an hour after that you were standing on the path above the forest tree, so we got her at the end.
So let's be honest, it does happen to miss sheep in a gather. Sometimes it could be difficult for us, it could be difficult for the dog. And like this time, you can see it's also quite tricky for the sheep because if they aren't fit, there's no point pushing them to get back home. Zork's turn now, he will finish his mother's job. This big lad does a tremendous work for me and is my best lemming dog at the moment. I hope you enjoy following us in our gathering duty and see you soon for part number two.